Tonight, we're learning more details about the grisly murders in Idaho. Police believe Brian Koberger stabbed the students to death between 4 and 425 that morning. But after earlier reports the victims were likely sleeping, new court records show at least one victim, Zana Kernadel, was likely awake, getting a DoorDash delivery at 4 a.m. And minutes later, was on TikTok. One of the surviving roommates hearing cries from Zana's room, then opening her own door to see that masked man coming toward her, so close she could see his bushy eyebrows before he walked past her and out the sliding glass door. Up until the release of this affidavit, police had not revealed one of the two roommates who survived was actually awake and witnessed the intruder. Releasing that information could potentially do two things, put them in jeopardy and also maybe complicate your ability to identify him. He might start getting rid of things, evidence that you might at some point be able to seize. Police say last fall, Koberger, a graduate student in criminology, applied for an internship with local police in nearby Pullman, Washington. Around the same time, investigators say cell phone data shows he made at least a dozen late night or early morning trips near the victim's home. Kaylee Gonzalez's father trying to find out why the killer went after these students. There's still more to be gathered. I think it was a restaurant or a coffee shop or uh, something like that that put this predator on their path. You can see there right behind me those sliding glass doors. Authorities say that's how they believe the suspect left the home. They also say that they can use cell phone data to place Brian Koberger back here near the home five hours after the murders around 920 in the morning. It was also nearly three more hours before that initial 911 call was made. Kana Whitworth, ABC News, Moscow, Idaho. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.